We've all taken exams, some have gone well and some, well, perhaps not. But what if the tables could be turned? What if students could be asked to evaluate their teachers? Should that happen? Can you imagine that kind of a scenario? Can you imagine evaluating your teachers fairly objectively? Well, that's what we are debating as we start this week, looking at should students evaluate their teachers. With me, Surbhi Mittal and uh, Akshay Singh, both of them uh, are into design uh, in, in some way or the other, or, or fashion or design in some way or the other. So that's the one connect they have that they don't necessarily agree on the topic that we're looking at today. Surbhi, I'll let you start, ladies first and all. Why do you believe that students should not be evaluating their teachers? You have a minute. Uh, basically, the students are not experienced enough. They're not experienced enough to understand what the teacher is trying to provide to them. So even though in the short term, they might think that the teacher is not being able to provide to them the knowledge that they need, or if they, they are not satisfied with the marks, or if they find something wrong with the teacher, in the long run, it might be very helpful for them, maybe at the job, or even longer in life when they find that discipline that the teacher that taught them was what, exa what was exactly needed to them. So in that short-sightedness, a lot of the times that evaluation that the students are giving the teachers falls short. And when it is used for administrative decisions, mm -hmm. a good teacher can always end up being thrown out of the college or maybe right. not penalized in yeah. some way or the other. Yeah, exactly. Right, right. Yeah. Akshay, respond to that. Perhaps students not mature okay. enough. Exactly. Perhaps, you know, not to sort of be able to evaluate. There might be frivolous reasons on why you... Sort well, of for that, downgrade I have to teacher? say that uh, there is this, you know, uh, if, if you don't know how to cook food, you still know if it tastes good or not. Mm -hmm. You know, don't know how an engine works, but you know if you're satisfied with the car or not. So that's one thing, you know, a student would always know if he is he or she is understanding what the teacher is saying, what the teacher mm -hmm. is trying to teach. Mm -hmm. That would be, you know, that is one basic thing that you always have. So, and actually we have this sort of situation in higher education mm -hmm. where there are that's feedback. More like feedback. Yeah, there's yeah. more like feedback. Mm -hmm. But what I think is that, uh, you know, students uh, in their formative years, they should be given this, you know, in, you know, provided this quality, they should be instilled this thinking process that, you know, they have to analyze everything that they're being provided mm. so that they know what else can be provided for them. Because we already know we have a system mm. which exists and we know it has its problems. You know, mm. we, we think about, we hear about good teachers and bad teachers. You know, I would like a situation where we talk about very good teachers and good right. teachers. Right. So for that, I think, this is a starting point where you know right. stu uh, students should begin to evaluate their teachers. Right, right. Your, and your time just got up as you finished that. You just yeah. finished a minute on that, so <laughs> time just right. So, simply respond to that. That you know, a teacher can at the end of the day very often make or break you. You know, you, you can sort of love a subject because yeah. you had a great teacher, excel in a subject that you weren't really good yeah. at, want to improve, and and the reverse can also happen. Yeah. You may sort of want to stay away from a subject yeah. or, you know, be reluctant to be involved in the yeah. subject. So a teacher, of course, being very, very, yeah. very, very crucial and, and yeah. has been, you know, even yeah. instead of go, go down generations, has always been crucial. So shouldn't there be some sort of system where such a crucial person in your life can know how you are responding, how you feel, how you believe you're imbibing and learning. See, evaluations important in the sense of if you're giving a feedback to the teacher on a one-to-one -on -one basis. But when the student evaluation becomes in the form of something that is used to take uh, administrative de decisions or something that is used to take ten, uh, that is used to provide tenure to the teachers or that is used to maybe uh, evaluate how the teacher is good or bad. The good teacher, there are. Uh, Throughout our lives, we've seen that we find teachers which I might find good, but some of my classmates might find right. her to be a bad right. teacher. Right. That's just a personal connect that you have with the teacher because right. that's how your personality has developed right. and how their personality has developed. Right. So basically, you cannot make one one trademark for this. Right. This is a good teacher. This is a bad teacher. And if you give the, every student the same form, mm. then it would be it would be unfair to the teacher because she is a person in her own, right. and how she connects with every student is different. So in that case, very qualitative feedbacks when, when uh, every student, uh, it not being anonymous, every right. student with their names tell how the teacher has performed mm. and then we see their performance and then that match is taken, that is a part of it. Right. But to evaluate how, her, how she's teaching, right. it is necessary to include other measures like right. maybe colleagues or something. Right. So you're, you're, you're saying expanded, don't just be only talking about that one, you know, one teacher on, on, on the same parameters. Exactly. But involve a whole lot else and perhaps also if this was to ever happen perhaps also let the teacher be involved in the process yeah. and you know why was it 
bad marks, as you exactly. said, bad grades that led to it. But she, of course, made that you know very important yeah. point that it can't be one size fits all. I might get along with a teacher really well, and you might not, or or vice versa. Our reasons for you know likes and dislikes might be very very different. We're all very different people. How does that work? Well, see, uh, as I said earlier, that what I believe in that it should be instilled with the, uh, into the students from the very beginning because you know I saw personally at, at college levels so and the feedbacks is just how people have. What, what kind of personal connection you have with mm. the professor. Mm. But it should not be the case, you know, from mm. the early on, a student should be, you know, made to understand that teaching, it's a process, it's, 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 you know, it's a kind of a service, you know, people pay service tax for that. So, it, they have to understand what, how this service functions and they should know the intricacies behind it and what they want more from it. Mm. Just the learning part, you know, that being, you know, not like, liking a disliking person is mm. completely, a different Subjective, thing, you know? right? Yeah, that's that's something different. But you know, do you some... believe that students are sort of mature enough, are sort of know enough, understand enough to make these key decisions and sort of keep, you know, personal likes and dislikes or mm. out of it? At this point, frankly, I would say not quite. Mm. But then, as I said, it has to be, you know, made into the day-to-day mm. -day activities of mm. schooling, of mm. academics, when, you know, mm. people are mature enough at, mm. po at one point when they can actually evaluate the teachers. Mm. Right. Uh, you know, there are lots of people, Surabhi, who would say that there's so much wrong with the education system the yeah. way it exists. You know, there's, there's also the, the drought of teachers that we are having, youngsters reluctant to yeah. get into teaching as, as a profession. Yeah. Do you believe something like this could sort of be a bigger hindrance? You know, especially the point that you made earlier that the teacher could be deprived of, penalized yeah. in some way yeah. or deprived of for yeah. something of it. Um, Evaluations in the in its own might not be a hindrance because nobody really thinks of that far that how the evaluations would affect me. Mm -hmm. But if you see that the evaluations that are that a teacher is given, it does affect them personally. And also, you have to realize that the teachers are providing not just a service, but they're giving an entire part of their personality. Like because mm -hmm. that teacher is becoming a part of you, she's giving a par part of you, and then the academic freedom that she sometimes thinking of in evaluations, the teacher might think that I might not say this because it might offend some students in the class and then an important part of your learning gets just misplaced and gets displaced. So then maybe people are not finding that freedom in teaching anymore or they're not finding that satisfaction in teaching anymore. Right. So That's that. a very important point. Actually, respond to that. That if you're constantly worried about being evaluated, you perhaps won't be won't, won't be what you would like to be. You won't project yourself the way you are. Yeah, you would perhaps exactly. think twice that this is going to affect my my evaluation. Because at the end of the day, it's not like a student who takes an exam and then you have it there in black and white. That I was, you know, I knew my subject or I didn't know my subject. This is, you know, it was sort of like not just cramped the style, but again, could has the power to negatively affect the system. Absolutely, but then for that, I have the answer that there is no such job in this world where you're not evaluated. Mm -hmm. So, you know, th there isn't possibly anything that you can do where you're not assessed on some level. Mm -hmm. It has to be qualitative, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. There has to be a system which can evaluate that completely. But then, of course, I, I would, you know, I, I would not go with the fact that, you know, you have to, you, you can leave a person completely free doing the job without any supervision, without any but assessment. But sure there is supervision and I guess assessment yeah, is on the fact of how well a class of students does in a subject or, you know, overall under a teacher. So do you believe that that is not enough, you're saying? Yeah, that's, not, that's definitely not enough because mm. the, it, it has to be, because improvement is always there. Improvement can be there in anything. Even a teacher, if, if it's a great teacher, mm. he or she can still improve. He can like she, Yeah, and, like and, yeah this right. is the basic human tendency to improve. Right. Yeah, so how do you give that motivational factor? How do you do the, provide that point right. which, you know, gets them to improve? So you know, a teacher we has... We can all do with improvements and, and this is perhaps one way of uh, improving. Would you... Um, because student evalu... Uh, like you said, students are already evaluated when they perform in the exam, when they perform... when you see their performance. I'm not saying they do away with the evaluation completely. Of course, teachers should be evaluated. Of course, there should be some sort that provides them motivation to improve. But if that comes from a colleague, maybe, in, or if it comes from a qualitative, qualitative uh, feedback from a student, mm -hmm. then there is a much better chance that the teacher takes it seriously because, mm -hmm. or, like, we as human beings gen mm -hmm. generally tend to take people of who are equal level or who are mm -hmm. superior. Mm -hmm. We take their uh, ideas seriously as mm -hmm. human beings. Mm -hmm. And then it makes much more sense if the colleagues are uh, providing you that feedback. 
students should provide feedback but in the form of a qualitative maybe one to one thing right. maybe some student that you feel comfortable with could tell you that mm -hmm. you're but doing not an evaluation exactly not an evaluation that right. decides how further you will go or what promotion right. will you get next right. so don't base the benefits that, that you get exactly. or you, you know on the basis of this exactly. let's just have a healthy conversation you're saying to try and figure out exactly. how this works exactly Akshay? Does that yeah, work for uh, you or no? You still want to give them marks. Yeah, you still want to I, say I 9 on 10 and 2 on 10 be, and all yeah, of that. It has to be a one, you know, performance bonus, did, yeah. which is based from, you know, the evaluation that is given by the student. That I right. stick by. Because, right. you know, because uh, as far as the, uh, you know, feedback by colleagues is concerned, a colleague would never know how good a teacher uh, other person is because they've never taken their class. Mm. That's, this is as simple as that. Mm. You know, they might be, they might really like you. They would tell you you're an excellent teacher. Because, you know, they're there in the other, your college, your department, they like you as a person, that's it. So that's the kind of feedback you can expect from other people. Though I'm not sure how many, how many would really agree, because even in a professional environment, you know how your colleagues are. You, you, you get a sense from seeing their work on what they're like. I would imagine even the same goes case, for but, teachers. But, but, uh, as much as a or student. designers? Even as, as, as much as a student would understand, hmm. a colleague would never. Hmm. You know, they're, they're, they're your, your direct client, your recipients, your students, hmm. whatever you call them. Right. But they are your focus, not right. your colleagues. So it'll be last words, I'm running but out of time. Like uh, what he ended with, I would like to say that teaching or studying or learning is never a consumerist thing. It's, mm -hmm. it's always more about something like you started with. It's an inherent thing that a teacher is giving to you. Mm -hmm. So it's something about learning. It goes further than more who your consumer is. So your colleagues are always people who are looking, who are looking at the environment, who are looking at the students mm -hmm. who are getting the response. And some students might feel more comfortable talking to them. So it's sure. always better that the colleague is telling you or giving you that evaluation. Because I think that kind of system already exists because that happens, you know, I, I don't Casually, like a, yeah, informally. I do, yeah, informally, that happens, informally. it exists there. Yeah, but in if that's sort of made formal, point. maybe if that's made formal, that in the sense of evaluation, hmm. not in, so, in terms of feedback. Feedback should always be there from students. I'm not against that. But in terms of and evaluation, taken seriously exactly, too, and not just sort of exactly, dumped in, in, exactly. in a corner just because it's anonymous. I know, uh, Akshay, as, I let, as, as, as we wrap this, that you perhaps would have liked to grab the opportunity yes. uh, to evaluate the teachers. Give me a couple of parameters as, as we wrap on what you would like to evaluate them on, and then so we. Um, I, I would say um, the, the, everything is qualitative, first of all, mm -hmm. and then that would be how comfortable a, te right. a, stu a teacher can make a student feel. That would be the first thing. That is the first requirement for, requirement for learning. Mm -hmm. And if that can be, uh, you know, if That's that can, the most important yeah. for you. So, Rabi, what is what sort of parameter do you believe should be most important? Um, as students, what we can evaluate them at most is how well they were able to provide the knowledge that was required to be given to us. Mm -hmm. If it comes to evaluation, feedback comes in how comfortable we were with them, how much we think that their teaching will help us in the future. Mm. So these parameters come in, in, term, in terms of feedback, but evaluation is just the knowledge that they've been provi they've provided. And that, of course, would be also largely de determined by how much the student imbibed, exactly. how much the student was willing exactly. to imbibe. Because exactly. at the end of the day, it is a two-way exactly. street. But clearly, the debate's not over yet. Uh, strong views on both sides. Surbhi so Akshay, thanks very much for joining us and sharing your thoughts with us. We're slipping into a quick break now. Coming up after that. All stuff that's creating quite a buzz online, all that you missed online, now you can catch it right here, coming up right after.